Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to do a Let's Play Porsche Hall of Legends VR, a free to play game on the Steam Store for the HTC Vive and the Valve Index. Oculus Rift is not officially supported and it doesn't work out of the box, but you can do a Windows 7 compatibility fix and the game will run. If you don't do the Windows 7 compatibility fix, you'll be under the floor. And so you'll, you won't be able to start the experience. The problem with doing a Windows 7 fix is your frame rates will drop. So <laughs> I'm getting about 45 frames per second, but that's okay because... Uh, because it really doesn't matter too much. There's not, it's not like a, it's a game, it, it's an experience. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the Egger Loner. And I'm sorry, I do have to face away from the microphone at times, so my volume will be inconsistent. So this is one of the many experiences. They're all different though. And here just it basically says to connect the energy sources. So that's what we'll do. So we go from the Egger Loner to the Formula E Gen 2. Most electric cars, old and new. I think Ferdinand Pilcher would like you. You seem to be on the same wavelength. Back in 1898, just imagine, Ferdinand Porsche developed a car with an electric motor. One might say that this innovative achievement was the spark that ignited the electric enthusiasm at Porsche. Now, more than 100 years later, you have just taken another step towards the future of the sports. So by the way, there's two pronunciations for Porsche. There's Porsche, which is the official German pronunciation, and there's Porsche, which is like the normal American pronunciation. I'm going to go with Porsche because that is the correct pronunciation. <laughs> so this next experience is more exciting. Let's go ahead and check it out. It's going to be the 550 Spider, and we're actually going to have to uh, duck down. So by the way, while you do have teleportation, there is no turning. So beware of that. And we're getting like 45, 50 frames per second mostly, so anywhere between there. We're gonna duck down. Yeah, we did it! <laughs> yes, I know. Duck, duck, don't look around, even afterwards. Okay, I think we can peep out now, right? We're, we're safe. I think we're safe now. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start the next experience. Ooh, that was a close one. You should know, at the time, Hans Hermann and Herbert Ling had painstakingly prepared for the 1954 Mie Emilia and had noted down every curve and every bump in a notebook. But they could never have guessed that a railway crossing gate would close during the race. Thanks to perfect preparation, a good dose of recklessness, and above all their quick reactions, they were able to drive under the gate. You're able to get more information if you click on those circles, but I'm not gonna do that. You can download the experience yourself if you wanna check out that extra information. I'm just trying to do this as quickly as possible. Giving my, I don't want to make this real, too long of a video. Ah, <laughs> well, I definitely wish it would let me drive this. <laughs> 
they're going to get to wave the she checkered flag. Okay, here's the checkered flag. Let's wave it. Where's the, where, where are they coming from? This side or that side? Oh, this side. Whoa. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. You won. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I would have preferred to be inside the vehicle, but okay. <laughs> Whatever. The checkered flag. The moment that makes all the trials and tribulations over the past years worth it. Without a doubt, one of the most important moments in Porsche motorsport history. The first victory at the legendary 24 Hours of Le Mans. The creme de la creme for all racing drivers. The Mount Everest of all races. And, back in 1970, the best that you could win at the time. Congratulations. You've experienced it yourself. Well, not really. I would have preferred to be inside the vehicle, but okay. We'll take what we can get. Tag Turbo, huh? This, this looks interesting. What is this? What is this? Ah. Coolant circuit a whole new meaning. Conducting the coolant right around the cylinder was a truly innovative idea. And the efficient cooling helped to reduce fuel consumption and increase range. Because of this, at the Formula One race in Kialami, for example, we lapped all of the other drivers twice, making the other teams look rather outdated. Yeah, not bad. So this is the last experience, let's hope it's the best. Let's hope they save the best for last. Uh, I was hoping they would actually show you. Unbelievable, isn't it? A 24 hour race like that. The absolute endurance test. Not only for the car, but also for every single member of the team. And only with great perseverance, determination, and team spirit can the goal be achieved. 
the birth of a new legend. If you want to achieve great things, you can't give up. You have to strive for success on your journey towards the future of the sports car. All right. Let, yes, let me get inside the Formula One vehicle. Yes, please. You've done it. You've managed to decipher the Porsche DNA and transfer it to Mission Future Sports Car, the sports car of the future. Remember this moment whenever you see a Porsche. There's a little bit of you inside it, too. Uh, can I drive it? <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Let me drive it, please. <laughs> uh, well, at least we can, you know, get up close and look all around, but apparently you cannot drive, no matter what. Ah, come on, man. Let, let us drive. <laughs> it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope to see you again soon. All right. So, yeah, that ends my, uh... Let's play. Hope you enjoy this game. It's a free-to-play game on the Steam Store. You can download it. Don't forget to do the Windows 7 compatibility fix if you're on Oculus. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>